Hi everyone, this is Laura Larsen organizing and today we're doing something total different. We are in Denver, Colorado right now and visiting my husband's family and one of my nieces came to me and asked me if I can help her to organize her closet. Her desk, we're gonna organize her desk. It's the third cut now. So we're gonna organize her desk and I'm gonna take you with me and explain you the best tips on how to do this and let's go in because it's freezing cold and I'm crying. My name is Jaden and I came to my Aunt Laura because she's a tidy consultant and I knew she could help me organize my desk because it makes it hard to focus sometimes. Alright, so what we want to do first is we take everything out and we categorize it. So we put all notebooks on each other, we put all pens on each other, all hand creams, like everything you find here, let's categorize it. And then we go through each pile and you decide what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep. And even if you don't want to toss anything away, it's so easier to kind of store it back then when we have everything from the same category together. Okay. And then we sort it back in. Okay. No, Alright, um, then we need a trash bag. Okay. Okay. Eraser. So these are um, coloring pens. We separate these two. Can we store and take them out of here? Yeah. You want to keep that? Sure. Oh. Actually, no. <gasps> Pieces of the eraser that doesn't work anymore. So it's important that whatever <laughs> whatever area you clean up, that the person to whom the stuff belongs is there. So in this term Jane, because she is the only one who can decide what's gonna keep or not. I never used a deck. And also while you're organizing, over every box you stumble, keep them. Especially when we're organizing like small spaces, not small spaces, but spaces like dresses where you have to store a lot of small stuff. Well, girl, you have a lot of journals. Yep. Uh, this needs staples. <laughs> Gift card, twenty-five dollars. Oh, I have a gift card. Probably, Probably like a hundred face masks. Uh, do, you like, do you want the spidget pen? So yeah. we took now everything out. We have everything on the floor and sorted into different piles. Now it's a good time to clean all the spaces where you had the stuff stored in before we sort everything back. But before we start sorting everything back, we look through each pile and sort out what we don't want to keep anymore because then we know how much we're going to keep and then it's going to be way easier to know where to store it. That's GoPro. GoPro. The ones that I like the most are the ones that don't have the erasers because the ones with the erasers don't work very good. The most important thing is to have a good workspace area is to have a clear table. The clearer the table, the less distraction. So the goal is to sort most of the stuff, except things that are really spark joy for you, like your disc player and the Taylor Swift albums and whatever, to have it there, but otherwise have everything clear. And when we sort things back in, I love to have on top like an um, all-purpose drawer, not a junk drawer, big difference but where you can store your glasses, things you have to, uh, or your wallet, like things that, where you have to have easy access to. Uh -huh. And then we go from light things like pens and stickers and whatever, and down to heavier things. And then you have, you have one um, drawer here, that we couldn't put under here, and you have the drawer on the side. There I would store things that you don't have to access all the time, uh -huh. like your craft stuff, for example, or your camera stuff, which can, you can do like a technical drawer, so that we can, the stuff that you need, like your pens and whatever, store here and things that you don't need to access that often we store more over there. 
I think the Sharpies just fit perfectly in here. Just sharpies. We should try and put them together. Or we should put, 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 yeah. put these in here. When you store things, pay attention. To, it's it's always easier if you store things which are alike. So that you have all the pens go together, that you have all the everyday stuff go together. We have all the technical stuff go together and all the papers go together. So that's kind of a system behind it. Got it. And this is just to put somewhere special, like this yeah. one, so you don't lose it. I have a treasure box in my room. Oh, yeah, Remember we made those at one yeah. time? That was so fun. All right, this can go in your treasure box. Also, because that's always a good memory, <coughs> not memory, um, a good reminder to always ask yourself, is this something that I want to keep, yes or no? But then also, does it have to be stored at this place? Because this is your work desk. Mm -hmm. Is this a place where you go through your memories? Or you want to keep it close to your bedroom or somewhere where you kind of can look at it? I should probably keep them close to my bedroom because when I'm at my desk, I'm just like doing you know, homework mm. and stuff. was really fun and helpful and it made me realize that there's a lot of things that I keep that I just don't need. Yeah, that's it. Are you happy now? Yeah. That looks so good. Did you rediscovered all your pictures? Yeah, and I found so many memories. I'm proud of you, Jane. Thanks. Are you sure your mom? Yeah. Mom! Thank you.